And the next thing that we're going to be doing is our services page. So that looks like this. We're going to be putting in this headline, these three boxes, and a description under them, a call to action to contact us today, and this little divider that says discover whole new world, why we love Google Cardboard, a video, and uh, finally call to action at the bottom. All right, so to do that, it's pretty easy. We just have to go to our services page and click on edit page to make it full width. And under templates, go to full width page and press update. Once we do that, we can view our page and we see that it is full width. And now we can go to page builder and that will automatically disappear. All right, once we do that, we then need to create our headline. So a trick is if you uh, put in a headline and if we go to basic modules, also called heading, if we put it in, it will automatically create a new row for us. And that's just a, a single row with one column. All right, and now we can go ahead and just copy this. And again, you can copy all the paste from getacardboard.com. Uh, all right, and we'll put it 24 and um, we'll make it centered and normal and centered. All right, then we're going to add some padding to it. So we're going to save this. We're going to add some padding so it's a uh, bigger space right here. So just go ahead and click on row settings and go to advanced and for the top not margin but padding we're just gonna put 50 so it scoots down a little bit it's scooted down a little bit all right then press save and now we are going to make um, these boxes so how many different columns are these you got it right three obviously okay if that wasn't obvious and that's okay um, so you add content, row layouts, and let's go with three. And let's just drag it, not up here, but just down below. All right, so now what do we need? Now we, that we have three boxes, we need images on those boxes. So one, two, three images. And to download these images, I went to iconfinder.com. And you can find any images that you want. So maybe I'll type in YouTube. And we can see, make sure you only click on free right here. And we can see this YouTube. Now we don't want it to download it as SVG because not all um, browsers can understand SVG. We want to download it as a PNG because all browsers understand the file format PNG. Um, if we want to change the color, then we download it to SVG, and then we open up Logo Maker, L O G O M A K R dot com, and we drag it in there to change the color. We can also look for icons here. So it has, if we could search YouTube, we can also put in things here and, and change the color or do whatever we want and saves it, and it automatically saves it as a PNG. So, but I already have all of the images already downloaded for you if you downloaded the project file. If you're doing your own website, then you put in your own images, obviously. All right, so let's do that. So let's uh, add in photos. So one photo in this column, and we're going to select the file and upload files and select files. So this one is YouTube, I believe. And we're going to select the file and it's going to be um, full size and center and we're not going to crop it at all so that's all fine and we're going to press save all right so now that looks just like this and next we're going to um, put in some text so that's pretty easy you just add content and you put in text editor and just drag it in the same box but underneath all right and let's go ahead and copy some of that text and let's paste it in here. So we'll paste as plain text again and we'll just go ahead and paste it. 
All right, once we paste it, we're gonna make this bold right here and we're gonna center it by highlighting it all and just clicking on center. And we're gonna save that. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and duplicate all of them. So we'll just duplicate that and duplicate it again. And we'll do the same thing with this right here. And we'll just drag it into the appropriate box. And once we do that, then we can go ahead and just change this and click on replace. So we're gonna replace it and we're gonna replace it with this uh, Google Wallet image. And we're gonna replace that also, okay? So we upload files, select files, and we go to Wallet PNG, open, and select and save. And then we edit this right here. And again, we paste it as plain text and paste it. And sometimes I paste it in the middle of, you saw me, you know, paste it in the middle. And that's because if I paste it, um, if I select all of it, sometimes it gets rid of the formatting. So I'll show you again on the next one. All right, once we do that, we can now use, uh, change the analytics. Upload files, select files, and go to analytics and open. All right, once we do that, select the photo and save. And then I'll, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna copy this. And then I'm going to edit right here. And I'm not gonna choose the first or last one because if I do, sometimes all of that formatting will go away. The bold will go away. So if I just do it right here, and of course paste it as plain text, and paste it, then it'll keep the same formatting. And I just have to delete the first and last letter. All right, and then press save. And now that is looking pretty good. So what are we gonna do next? We are going to say, contact us today. All right, so to do that, we just go ahead and add um, content and just drag in a text editor and drag it all the way at the bottom. Well, we could drag it in up here. Okay. And contact us today. And then we're gonna do the little special character. Again, if it's not showing, toggle the toolbar. Special character, right. We're going to center it, make it 20 pixels large and make it link, of course, to our contact page, a link, and press save. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Now to save your work, let's just press done and publish changes. And it's looking exactly the same as this. All right, so next we're gonna add in this yellow bar right here that says discover whole new worlds. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on page builder again we saved it and we're just gonna go ahead and drag in a heading and it'll automatically make a row for you if you just drag in a heading underneath everything all right and again <clears throat> we are going to just paste discover whole new worlds we're gonna make that 28 pixels and we are going to make it white and that's all we're gonna do for that. And we're gonna save. All right, but now you can't see anything because we didn't change the color of the row yet. So we're gonna go to row settings and we're gonna make it full width. And we are going to make the background color and change that to that orange. Remember the color code for the orange? It is, um, do I remember it? That's the question, 66, I mean FF6E40. All right, but now it's a little too big. So we're gonna go to advanced and we are going to, for the padding, we're gonna, for the top, we're going to make it 10. And for the bottom, we're gonna make it 10. 
And we forgot to do one thing. This is looking a little too bold. So we're going to edit it and we're going to make this light. All right, so that is looking pretty good. The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to put in this why we love Google Cardboard and we're going to put in this video right here. All right, so to do that, you already know how to put in a heading, but let's do it anyways together. So just drag in a heading and drag it underneath everything and type in why we love why we love Google cardboard and we're gonna make that 24 pixels that is fine and we're going to go to advanced because we're going to actually before we do that we're going to make it centered and we're going to go to advanced and for the um, margin we're gonna add in a little more space so we're going to make it 35 pixels. So it just gives a little more space, a little more white space. All right, once we do that, we now have to uh, put in a video. So let's go ahead and add content. And let's drag in a video. We could drag it in right here. All right, and instead of you know uploading the video ourselves, we're just going to get it through YouTube, so we're going to press embed. Now with YouTube, um, it's really easy to embed a video. You just go to YouTube and you know, you could just look for any video hands on with Google Cardboard. Maybe we're looking for and we see this video and we click on it and all we have to do is copy this URL up here, this link up here, and press copy, exit out of here. Of course, you could do this on any video you want. And go ahead and paste it and press save. Now we notice that the video is really big. It's almost overwhelming. It's too big, in my opinion. So how do we make it a little smaller? And um, I'll give you a second to think about it. How would you make it smaller? Well, you um, probably got it right, but if not, that's okay. We can actually go to video settings and add in on advanced margin on the left and right. So maybe we want to add, I don't know, 30 pixels to the top, um, 50 pixels of margin to the bottom, that adds space at the bottom. And on the left, let's do 200. And on the right, let's do 200. So now that looks like a lot less overwhelming and that's looking pretty good. All right, so we're done with that. The next thing that we're gonna do after we've done that is we are going to put in this call to action under here. I'm gonna show you how to underline things and uh, make it orange, which you know how to do. I'm positive of that. All right, so let's go to add content and we're just going to add in a one column one row with one column. All right, and we're going to um, go to row settings, the little wrench, and we're gonna go to full width, and for our background color, we're going to make it a color, and we're going to make it FF6E40. And it automatically adds a little uh, pound sign or hashtag, maybe you know it as, um, for you, but you definitely need that just for in the future. All right, so that is the color. Then we are going to make the color of the text that's inside this box. We're gonna make it white, and we're gonna make the links inside the box white, okay? And then we're gonna to go to advanced, and we are gonna add in some padding. So we're gonna add in 60 padding to the top and 60 padding to the bottom just so it looks a little more a little bigger and a little more balanced then we're going to press save and now we're going to add our content and we're going to add a text editor so we're just going to click hold whoa and drag and jiggle it down and we're going to paste in this um, text right here copy 
and I'm gonna paste it as plain text. Of course, you can type whatever you want out. Paste as plain text and paste. There we go. Then I'm going to make it, um, you see the text is white now. That's pretty cool also. I'm gonna make it 24 pixels big and I'm going to center it but I'm going to also add in some spacing on the left and right side so it's a little more um, it doesn't go so wide you don't want your text to go all the way across really wide because it's harder for people to read it's a lot easier for, for people to read when there's not so many words on a line all right so we're going to add just 150 to the left 150 to the right and it looks a lot better once we do that, we are going to underline some stuff. So we understand we're going to underline it. And Google um, contact us. We're going to underline. Just so people know that those are links. And we understand we're going to link to the About section. We're going to add link. And the Contact Us, we're going to link to, you guessed it, the Contact section and add the link then we're going to save it and we're going to look at look at it and we're going to say wow that is freaking excellent then press done and publish changes and now we have a really cool services page of course you could do any services you want on here but it's looking really awesome all right so we are done with that so let's go to uh, the tyler.com uh, companion website and click on complete services page and we are 78% done.